Hi everyone, Azure Greg here, and in today's video I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Azure CLI and the Azure CLI Interactive tool. So to start off with, I'm going to bring up the Windows Terminal. Once that's loaded, I'm actually going to change to just use the Windows PowerShell. And I'm going to create two of these. So on the left, I'm going to use the Azure CLI, and on the right, I'm going to use the Azure CLI Interactive. So the first step is I'm going to just log into Azure. I'm just going to type AZ login. It's going to ask me for my username. I'll choose my account and that's me logged in. Okay, so I'm just going to clear the screen. So if I want to be able to list my accounts, I can just do az account list. And I'll list my accounts. Let's clear the screen. And let's go into the other terminal window and let's use az interactive to do the same thing. So this is an interactive version of the command line. Um, it's an interactive mode. I'll be running the az interactive command and this mode places you in an interactive shell with auto completion, command descriptions, and some examples. So let's do that now by typing AZ Interactive. Okay, so now that that's loaded, we can see we're in the PowerShell command prompt. We've typed AZ Interactive and we've entered the Azure CLI Interactive mode, which will give us, it'll pretty much give us command descriptions, auto completion, uh, and some examples down here. So in this PowerShell window on the left, I typed AZ account list. So if I want to do the same thing in the AZ interactive, I've already got AZ, so I just need to do account list. And as you can see here, as I type, I'm getting IntelliSense. So if I type account, it's already, there's a list of the commands. It's clear, get access token. And that's based off of account. So if I just do list, press return, I get the list of accounts. Same, same command. So let's just clear the screen on both again. So now let's look at using the CLI on the left hand side to create an Azure resource group using the Azure CLI. Now what you'll notice there is I got no IntelliSense and I had to know the parameters. So I had to know it was dash dash name for the name of the resource group, which is my demo RG. And also I had to know the exact name for the location, which is West Europe. So let's go ahead and do that. And that's going to go and create that demo resource group. So you can see it's succeeded. We've got my demo RG and it's succeeded. So let's use the Azure CLI interactive to do the same thing. So to do that, I've already in the AZ uh, context. So all I need to do now is do group. And there you go. You can actually see I've typed this command before and it actually gives me an example of, of what I typed before. So do create dash dash name my demo rg2 dash dash location and let's go for, if I just type we, again you can see I'm getting IntelliSense. So if I wanted to change this to go to, let's say I wanted to go to West US 2 Press space, and there we go. I press return to run that command. That's going to go off and create the resource group, my demo RG2, and it's now in the West US2. So that's the IntelliSense. So you just start typing. You can see down here, create a new resource group, and it gives you an eye. It gives you the example. So you can do dash L for location and dash N for the name. That's kind of short shorthand. Um, but the way I did it previous was the kind of long way of doing it. So you can see here that I'm using the Windows PowerShell. Um, prompt and I'm using the Azure CLI interactive tool to kind of learn the commands for using the Azure CLI. And you want to use the Azure CLI to kind of automate repetitive tasks, maybe script out kind of DevOps resources and, and creation of resources so you don't have to type them, you could put them in a script and just run the script. So that's us created a resource group. Now let's take a look at creating a virtual machine inside that resource group. What I'll do here is I'll just clear the screen on both sides again. And here it's going to ask me for the admin password, so let me just type that in. OK, 
confirm it. So that's going to go off and create a, an Azure virtual machine in the demo, my demo RG resource group, and it's going to be called my demo VM. It's going to be the Windows 2019 data center image. So let's let that run. And what we'll do is we'll do the exact same thing using the Azure CLI interactive. So here we are in the Azure CLI interactive. Let's go and change the scope. Now you can read more about scopes in my blog post. But if I change the scope to VM, so if I do percent percent, you can scope this. So this is basically mean I'm going to start working with virtual machines. So you can see here it's defaulted to virtual machines. So if I do things like list, that's the same as typing AZ VM list inside normal CLI. So if I do that, that's going to list all my virtual machines, which you can see here. So I'm just going to clear the screen. So what I want to do, if you recall, we did AZ VM create, and then we give it a resource group, a name, and an image. Let's just do the same thing, but this time we don't need to type AZVM because we're already in that context. So we just need to do create dash dash name, put it in the second resource group this time. Press return. That's going to go off and create that. Let's check on the first one using the Azure CLI, and that's just created. You can see here we've created a VM in West Europe. It's running and it's also in that resource group and that was using the Azure CLI. Let's switch back to the CLI interactive and it's still creating our, v, our VM. Okay, so our VM has now been created. As we can see here, my demo RG2 is running in West US2 in the region. So that says how we've created a virtual machine using the Azure CLI. Let's look at this again. So we're in the Azure CLI and I want to list my Azure VMs. So I need to do Azure VM list. And I can see my virtual machines I've got in here. That's all the ones I've got. And if I want to do the same thing inside the CLI, I'm already in AZ VM, so I just need to type list. And that's kind of how you work with scoping. And it gives you some examples down here. So if I want to list all the VMs inside a resource group, I can do list minus G and then my demo RG2. That's going to list all the VMs by resource group. And there we go, that's the resource group there and the virtual machine. So hopefully here you've learned a little bit about the Azure CLI and how to use the Azure CLI interactive. If you're getting started learning the Azure CLI, then definitely make use of the Azure CLI interactive to begin with, and then maybe move off of that and back to the Azure CLI. But the Azure CLI interactive will give you examples um, and can enter a sense as well. So hopefully you found this useful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.